Papua New Guinea, an Indo-Pacific country with over 600 islands and 839 different spoken languages. In July of 2023, myself and six other midshipmen traveled to this beautiful country as part of a language, regional expertise, and culture program through the U.S. Naval Academy. Led by Dr. Joe Thomas, the director of the Stockdale Center for Ethical Leadership, we spent one week in a remote archipelago with the goal of learning about cross-cultural competency to become better leaders ourselves. The learning that occurs when you go off-grid uh, for travel of this nature, where you're really connecting at the grassroots level with the people that aren't accustomed to seeing outsiders, uh, the learning is on a very steep curve for them as well as for us really, really looking forward to experiencing something that has such a rich history as it relates to the Navy and Marine Corps and a, uh, a powerful potential future. It was an adventure and learning experience none of us will ever forget. This is Papua New Guinea. We traveled over 30 hours and 11,000 miles to get to our starting point of Caviang, a small town in the province of New Ireland. Before heading underway, we spent the night on the beautiful Musa Island where we prepared our belongings before departing early the next morning. Our expedition was centered around kayaking from island to island in the Bismarck Archipelago stopping to engage with locals and learn about their ways of life. We were on the water for hours at a time. We accumulated over 30 miles of paddling in just four days. Despite the rigor of paddling, the incredible views made it all worthwhile. The Bismarck Archipelago is also known for its pristine, clear blue waters, which offer great opportunities for snorkeling. We even got to check out the remains of a Japanese Zero that crashed during World War II. We swam out and dove 20 feet deep to see the wreckage that remained. final days of the trip, we went to Soy Primary School to repair a roof on one of its main buildings. We had to tear off the old roof and insulation, and replace it with new materials that were brought to the island. After a long day of working in the heat, we got the roof replaced, and even had time to play with the kids after. Arguably the most rewarding part of the trip was learning about the locals' ways of life. We learned how to prepare meals, open coconuts, fish off of an outrigger, and much more. Playing rugby on the beach during sunset and dancing with the local church group were just a few of the many ways we spent time with the local people. And yes, we spent a ton of time playing all different types of sports with the kids as well. This Elric was a life-changing experience for all of us. <laughs> Being immersed in a culture much different than our own was an incredible learning experience. We are all extremely grateful for the opportunity to have visited such an incredible country and believe this is one of the best trainings a midshipman can do. Guys, can I 
I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna break them. Do it with. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's no eyes. Larry, not Larry. That's my ear. Larry, stop it. Ow. Larry. This is too funny.